two. Zero. Hard serving match for sure. Half out point for Mexico. 2-1, Murray. Z to the left side, hard drive. Ball skipped in. Three serving one. Sticking with the same hard Z serve. Round the wall ball. Deep court Portillo skips it in, tried to shoot it from 38 feet with the backhand, not a very high percentage shot. Canada jumps out 4-1. Sticking with the same serve. These players have played each other before. But not in this tournament. Nice get by Murray. Skip ball. Referee saw that. Point Mexico. Both the Canadians thought it was good, of course. We got a side out. Portillo serving 2-4 for Mexico. One thing's for sure, no ball will be down unless flat. Half out point. Canada, this is rally scoring. Score whether serving or receiving. Two serves, five. Montoya, second server for Mexico. Ball's down. Point Canada comes in to serve at 6-2. Again, good reach by Murray behind him. Ball's down. Pass right side point for Mexico. 6-3. This left glass is very tough to deal with. Uh, Portillo not even noticing it's there. Getting the point and the serve. 4-6. And Montoya capitalizing Ball coming off the back wall, drives it down, roll out, 5-6, 5 6 acá en la ciudad de Guatemala, Panamericanos, tercer día de competencia, skip de Kobe in the right corner, estamos empatados, 6-6, six, 6-6 six. Six, six here, court side, court down to 6, center court. And Mexico is and has come back strong. Still first server for Mexico. 7-6. Half out. Point Canada. 7-7. Montoya is actually the uh, Mexican singles national champion. Uh, we watched him play in Juarez here in February. Good serve, but a good return, too. Murray has great hands. So a call like that is what comes first, and Montoya was actually the one that was going to hit the ball. If he was not there, I believe that would have been called unavoidable, but we are repeating the point. 
much to the chagrin of Mexico, but I think it was a good call. 7-7. 8-7. Seven, seven. Seven. <laughs> Tough wrap around. Kobe couldn't pick it up. Mexico takes a two-point lead. All games to 11, win by two in rally scoring. Second server, 9-7 for Mexico. Short serve. Second serve. A lot of movement in doubles, especially at this level. Great hands by all the players. Nice pass, left side by Iwasa, keeping Team Canada in it. Coming to serve at 8-9. 10 seconds for a server and receiver to serve the ball. Handcuffed Rodrigo on that ball that Portillo let go by, allowing Canada to tie up the match at 9-9. Asking for a replay, couldn't see the ball, granted. My apologies. I thought I had called the score. And it is 9-8. Canada up by one. Called the ball short, second serve. Looks short from here. Great wallpaper shot. Pegado a la pared, balls down. Canada with an opportunity to take game one, serving first possible game point eight. And that's it, game one. We are here live, Guatemala City, Pan American Racquetball Championships, watching the uh, round robin competition. We're going to uh, take a, a break here, be back shortly. Vamos a comerciales y volvemos. We're back, folks. This is Gustavo Farel here for the moment without my uh, partner in crime, Gary Mazaroff, announcing from the Pan American Racquetball Championships here in Guatemala City, Guatemala, the 34th edition. This is the qualifying event, qualifying tournament for the Pan Am Games. If you go to panamsports.com, you can learn all about it. Uh, sign up there with the app. 
get your name on there. You can see this this uh, tournament not only on Pan Am Sports, but on Facebook, YouTube, the IRF, racquetball as well. Here we go, game two, Canada winning the first one. 0-0, zero, zero, this men's open competition. Three games out of five to win. Play to 11. Nice shot by Lalo Portillo. Scores the first point of this second set. 0-0, cero, cero, sirviendo Lalo Portillo de México. Mismo servicio que estaba usando en el primer set. Define Portillo el segundo punto. Frente a la cancha. Nadie cerca ahí. La pared de vidrio difícil. Y esa vez le tocó suerte en lo que pegó la pelota en la ranura punto dos sirviendo uno Rodrigo Montoya el campeón nacional de singles mexicano del febrero de este año torneo jugado en Ciudad Juárez le ganó él a su pareja, Lalo Portillo. No, error no forzado ahí por parte de, de Kobe. Punto para, Can para México. Suben a 3-1. Estos juegos van rápido. Tienen 10 segundos para poner la pelota en juego en, en el momento que canta el score. El árbitro. Esa vez, aunque Murray tiene unas manos muy rápidas, no pudo llegar a devolver esa pelota. Un balazo de Montoya. 4-1. Aparte de la forma que agarra la raqueta, le da un efecto muy diferente a la bola. Y Murray, aprovechando que tenía a Portillo atrás de él, definió bien esa pelota ahí a mano izquierda de la cancha. Bien hecho por... Iwasa complementando el rally que básicamente jugó todo el tiempo Murray, pero el punto a definir vino de Iwasa, tres sirviendo cuatro. Está reclamando que la pelota le pegó en la ropa, la camiseta, a él, a Murray nomás diciendo que eh, obviamente la pelota no puede viene siendo un, un hinder se repite y aparte me imagino que la pelota mojada después de eso, pero no importa si le pegó, se para el juego y se juega de vuelta, en este caso Alentizando un poco el juego con los globos. Se apuró ahí un poco Kobe sobre pique y le falló. Pasamos a 3-5. 3-5. Y estaba demasiado atrás ahí Murray y Kobe no pudo llegar a cubrir lo que no llegaba Murray. Set 
6, sirviendo 3, primer servidor México. Lindo pinch de Lalo, viendo que Murray está bien atrás de él. 7-3, sigue con el mismo globo a, a medias. Y Montoya estaba ahí, aunque el tiro de Murray se veía que fuese ser muy efectivo, no fue. Punto México, tiempo afuera. Vamos a ir a un breve comercial y volvemos con ustedes. back here in Guatemala City, Guatemala. The men's open round robin doubles competition, third day of competition. We are here through this Saturday where we'll have the finals of the open divisions and on Friday of the junior divisions. We have a big group of juniors here as well. Very exciting to have around 150 players. And we're back, score 8-3, Mexico serving game two, having lost to Canada in that game. A little bit nonchalant, Portillo, point to Canada. We're using rally scoring. Score whether you're serving or receiving. That was a crack, point serve irretrievable Mexico jumps out now 9-4 game to 11 I believe that was called a short second serve 9-4 hard to tell Great hands by Montoya. And Murray poaches over to the right side, takes that ball himself, drives it right back down the line. Impossible to get for Team Mexico. Bringing Canada to the service box, 5-9. Call the ball short, second serve. Kobe Iwasa. Samuel Murray, nice hands, Montoya. Giving Mexico a possible first game point here in game number two, 5-10. Portillo puts the ball away. Game two is history here. 11-8 game one to Canada. Game two, 11-5 to Mexico. We will go three out of five if necessary. Let us uh, thank our producer here, uh, Pablo Fajere and Adrián Macrino, who's helping out in this particular match. We'll go to a commercial break and be back with you shortly. Vamos a unos comerciales y volvemos. Final Sport celebra que ya quedan 200 días para Santiago 2023 con un espectacular concurso. Hola, soy Mari Lady Paulino de la República Dominicana. Doble medallita olímpica y doble medallita mundial. Podrás ganar tres gorras oficiales de Panam Sport y la camiseta autografiada de Mari Lady Paulino. 
Panam Sport estará sorteando esta, eh, esta blusa de correr, que fue la que yo corrí en el Mundial de Obregón. Espero que tengan suerte y la decisión está ahora. Ingresa a nuestro Instagram, en el post, etiqueta a tus tres mejores amigos y ya estarás participando. Sorteo, lunes 3 de abril. Listos para set número 3 aquí, Guatemala, la ciudad de Guatemala. En Centroamérica hemos pasado muy bien acá de nuevo. Tuvimos el torneo de los juniors en diciembre y ahora estamos con los Panamericanos. Tercer día de este evento. Están viendo a Rodrigo Montoya. Lalo Portillo, equipo mexicano que está empatado ahora con los canadienses. Samuel Murray y Kobe Iwasa. Vamos 1-1. Uno, uno. Estamos jugando a 11 puntos. Puntos corridos. Rally scoring. Y Murray pone a Canadá en el tablero primero. Uno, cero. Iwasa sirviendo. Two wrap around. Aprovechando. Error de Portillo, 2-0. Iguaza siguiendo con el servicio, el servicio Drive. Forzó otro error de parte de Montoya ahora. 3 sirviendo, 0. Round the wall, ball. Alrededor del mundo, pelota. Bien agarrado por... ¡Ay! Le dio, pero duro ahí a Iwasa. No... Pudiera haber sido un evitable. No, no creo, porque estaba... El evitable constituido por, por tiro directo a la pared del frente o a las esquinas de atrás. Y en este caso él estaba en la pared, a mano derecha, se re, repite el punto. Ahí pegó la pelota por arriba de la raya de 12 pies atrás. Fuera, punto México. Segundo servidor, Canadá, 3-1. El efecto con cual le pega Murray también, como que la pelota no rebota. Patina cuando pega contra el piso. 4-1. Bien pensado por Montoya viendo que Iguazo se fue para el medio. La mandó por la pared del costado ahí, mano derecha. 2-4.
A ver qué pasó ahí. Segundo servidor, claro. Mala suerte, pero picó de la forma que picó y... Punto para Canadá. Dos sirviendo cinco. Segundo servidor México. Gran servicio, pero la atajó Murray. Contacto con Montoya, creo que en el, el swing, que obviamente le afectó el tiro, espero que no le haya pasado nada, parece que todo bien. Eh, tiempo de oficial aquí para asegurar que la cancha esté seca, que no se vayan a resbalador, resbalar los jugadores. Ese punto se va a repetir. Segundo servidor de México, de vuelta Rodrigo Montoya, dos sirviendo cinco. Estamos en el tercer set, vamos 1-1 uno, uno. aquí en los Panamericanos de la ciudad de Guatemala. Increíble. Poder haber agarrado eso. Rapidísimo, Murray. Esa vez no. Buena bola. A todos. Los jugadores ahí, ese punto ganado por México, pero la verdad, demostrando el nivel de racket que tenemos acá en este torneo, tremendo. Y esto, señores y señoras, es el tercer día nomás de la competencia. Third day of competition with many more to come. All of the seating required for the Pan Am, Pan American uh, Games Tournament, which will be at the end of October, forces many matches here because all of the places need to be filled. In other words, one through 12 or however many slots need to be filled you will see games throughout the week to fill each and every one of those typically if you make it to a quarter you don't play anymore quarter would be you know four teams that drop out here those four teams would have to play as well to define five six seven eight places well here we go folks three five three cinco rodrigo montoya mexico sirviendo En el momento que pegó esa pelota Portillo sabía que la había errado y, y Murray la agarró y la definió bien. 6-3, primer servidor de Canadá. Montoya trató de hacer lo mismo que hizo Murray en el punto anterior no pudo. Siete sirviendo tres. Desde 37 pies atrás. Bien tirado. De Montoya.
está quejándose Montoya y hasta, hasta cierto punto tiene razón porque el, ese movimiento ese último movimiento le afectó el tiro a Montoya que quería un evitable Pasamos a 5-7. México entra a servir. Está pidiendo que vengan a limpiar la cancha. Este tiempo no cuenta para nadie. Tiempo oficial. Acá la ayuda ha sido fantástica en este complejo de 10 canchas. Todas de vidrio, la parte de atrás de vidrio. Y dos de estas canchas, esta la principal y la número 5 que está acá al lado. Tienen el vidrio de lado, 40 pies de vidrio de lado y los 20 de atrás. Seguimos. Sirviendo México Repite. En un momento va a tener que pedir que por favor los jugadores se cambien la camiseta porque si no esto no vamos a terminar. Cada punto va, vamos a estar limpiando la cancha. 5-7. Portillo, first server for Mexico. Just commenting that uh, referee may have to ask the players to change their shirts or we're going to be spending a lot of time wiping the court. Ball hit out of the court, above the 12-foot line, completely above and out. Point, Mexico brings it to 6-7. Right side pinch by Portillo. 7-7, siete, 7-7. Siete, seven, seven. Get called good. Tough. Ball turned Montoya around, was not able to get it off the side wall. Point for Canada on that. Second server, seven, serving eight. Tough leave, but Murray really had no shot at that, and Iwasa did not have a chance to communication there. This time they'll be ready, but they did lose that point. 8-8. He's having to turn himself around to take the shot. Now a lead by, first lead of the game by Mexico, 9-8. You got to keep your balance and focus on the ball as you turn around with it. Squash, of course, that would be a, a let, I believe. Can't do that shot. No. Way high. Second serve, long ball. Fault serve. Two serves in this game.
Good hands by Portillo. As I said, wow. All in the hands there. All the team players. In this case, it was Murray. Somehow got his racket on it. Sidewall glass and splatted out the front wall. Irretrievable. And we are all tied up at nine. Murray asking for a towel. No doubt uh, he's wanting to use it to uh, wipe the floor and himself. All in the advent of fair and safe play. We don't need anybody getting hurt here, slipping on the floor as best we can. Has to stay dry. 9-9. Nine, nine. First server, Canada. Nice. Reverse pinch left side by Murray, giving uh, Canada a one point advantage. First possible game point nine. Great get, Portillo. Replay called. What a rally, folks. That is racquetball at its best. We're going to replay that point. We're going to see it here on the screen. I think three players were down at the same time in that rally. Now let's see if that could have been unavoidable. Didn't get an opportunity to see that, but that was... Fantastic. Back to making sure the court is clean. No question that all those gets were good gets. The only doubt was the call at the end by the referee stating replay instead of a possible avoidable, which is what Montoya wanted. There's no lines in this event until we get to the finals and quite possibly we may just have the video assist review uh, in those finals this coming Friday and Saturday. There's a timeout called. Vamos a un comercial y volvemos. We're back, waiting for both Mexico and Canada to come in. Uh, Mexico talking with their quote, their coach, Yanko Renteria from uh, Monterrey, Mexico. Down 9-10 in this third game. 1-1 as it stands right now. Team Canada serving for their second possible game point, 10-9. Here we go, Kobe Iwasa. Ball went outside the 12-foot mark, and it ends on a 
somber note there. Canada up 2-1. to one. We'll go to another break and be back shortly. Rise and shine, Colorado. Celebrate the 46th annual Colorado Springs Labor Day Liftoff in Memorial Park, September 3rd through the 5th. It's the most colorful weekend of the year. Don't miss the mass balloon ascensions, balloon glows, beer garden, live entertainment, kid zone, and a new 5K race. For event details, volunteer opportunities, and pre-event parking sales, visit LaborDayLiftoff.com. Sport celebra que ya quedan 200 días para Santiago 2023 con un espectacular concurso. Hola, soy Marilei Di Paulino de la República Dominicana, doble medallista olímpica y doble medallista mundial. Podrás ganar tres gorras oficiales de Panam Sport y la camiseta autografiada de Marilei Di Paulino. Panam Sport estará sorteando esta, eh, esta blusa de correr que fue la que yo corrí en el Mundial de Obregón. Espero que tengan suerte y la descripción estaba. Ingresa a nuestro Instagram. En el post, etiqueta a tus tres mejores amigos y ya estarás participando. Sorteo, lunes 3 de abril. And we're back here, live, Guatemala City, Guatemala, for the 34th edition of the Pan American Racquetball Championships. This is the tournament that qualifies the players and the teams, the teams and the players, I should say, for the Pan Am Championships to take place third week of October. Go to panamsports.com to uh, see all that is going to happen then. My name is Gustavo Farel. Gary Mazaroff will be with me coming up in the next match. We're going to see... Uh, Team Mexico versus Team USA in the women's side open. Skip ball. One serving zero here, game four. Canada up two to one in sets. Good hands by Portillo. That one against the wall. Kobe couldn't do anything with it. Mexico jumps out. 2-0. Murray trying to take advantage of the fact Portillo was behind him. Wasn't able to. He... Put it in the floor. Mexico jumps out quickly. 3-0. Good. Continuing with that half lob Z serve to the backhand. Balls down. If you notice how Murray did not even worry about who might be ahead of him. The, he has a right to the ball. The other players have to clear out. The other team players have to clear out, which they did. And his partner better, too. But if he runs into him, the point would uh, not go in their favor. Second server for Mexico, 3-1. Interesting the way Montoya hits that ball. It, 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 it's with such power that it, it rises when he snaps that wrist. The racket face is almost horizontal to the floor when he first swings. Tremendous snap.
point four one for Mexico. They need this game to stay in it. Force a game five. Nothing doing there. Quickly out front, 5-1. Watch that racket. The torque he gets on it. Returned by Murray, point. Iwasa serving 2-5. Reverse pinch left corner, glass front wall by Portillo. Bringing the score to 6-2. Murray serving now for Canada. Been going with the uh, Z to the back backhand. That time Kobe just missed it. Point seven two Mexico. Ball dies in the corner. Good pass by Iwasa there. Canada getting that point seven, serving three. Our head official today, Francisco Gomez from Colombia, 8-3. Notice how Portillo was picking on Iwasa we have a timeout call. Trying to force him to jam or handcuff himself, which he did. The last was uh, just a, a, a quick uh, an, an attempt to save that rally. Here we are, timeout now in this format today. We have rally scoring, you score and while serving and receiving. We have three out of five games. You gotta win three to win the match. You're allowed one timeout per game, per team. Uh, if appeals were in play here, you would be allowed two lost appeals per game. We won't have appeals until the finals uh, days of competition which is Friday and Saturday time between games is two minutes uh, in doubles what makes this exciting is while you are receiving the ball you can score a point and not come in to serve even after scoring that point if it was first server in the box for the serving team. Here we go, 9-3. Game number four. Point, Mexico. If I was Canada right now, I would just be trying to see if we could change the momentum a little bit, trying to bring it back in their favor going into game number five, ending this match on a good note, if at all possible. And we will replay that. Thank you for not swinging, Lalo.
10-3. Quick hands, Murray. Nicely done by Team Mexico. We will uh, go to a game five tie break. The point, the team with the most points, in this game, in this case, it would be Mexico, can choose to serve or receive. Typically, the teams would church, uh, choose to serve. One of the uh, trivia questions I'll put out there for everybody for you to think about is why does the first server in doubles, first team, first server in doubles, only get one serve? Think about it, and we'll give you our comments on that when we return. Let's go to a break. We'll be right back. We're back here, Guatemala City, Guatemala, Pan Am Championships, game five of this men's open double. We're all tied at two. Team Mexico serving to Team Canada. Nice save by Portillo. If this first point is an indicator of what's to come in this game, that is spectacular. Point one by Canada coming in to serve on an error by Portillo. Calling in the maintenance crew which has done a spectacular job for us here keeping the glass the courts everything in tip shot in uh, tip top shape pointed out that question regarding why does the first server in doubles only get one serve there's not a firm answer to that but in tennis it used to be that way I don't know if that came from tennis that in the tie break they had that but this is this is uh, from the get-go in doubles as we all know Morti uh, Portillo quick to respond we're tied at 1-1 Saw Lalo go forward there. Nice diving get by Murray. Balls down. 
We're going to replay that last point, take a look at it. Unbelievable get by Murray, diving towards the back wall. And then the ball down by Portillo. I apologize, we are Mexico 2-1. We believe that the rule comes from not wanting the receiving team to get a donut and the likelihood of getting a donut if you allow two players on the first serve serving team to serve is much higher than if you just had the one player serving. And again, that only is in effect for doubles. And in commenting with our producer here, Pablo Fajere, it really wouldn't matter in uh, rally scoring, something that could be considered going forward to allow the uh, first team to have to serve since the receiving team can score at all times too. It really wouldn't matter. Here we go, 2-1 Mexico, game five. Quick hands. Montoya. Unbelievable get by Iwasa. Pushed himself a little bit too hard on that one. Mexico jumps out 3-1. Not uh, second server here, three serving. One for Mexico, again watching that snap that Montoya has with that racket. Impressive, second serve. Wow. Montoya, excuse me, uh, Portillo slipping and falling. Seems to be okay. Feeling a little pain, hopefully it's nothing serious. Another point for Team Mexico. Coming up next we have women's open doubles. Mexico, USA. That will be very exciting. And here we go again, tie break. Fifth game, 4-1. Unforced error by Portillo, giving the point to Canada. And actually, they did change the service order. I take that back. So Portillo is the second server. They must have notified the referee in order to do that. Another point for Team Canada, three serving four. Great get. Ball's down. Murray is not liking that. Had that ball been 
call to get. There could have been a, oh boy, here we go again with the uh, cleaning, cleaning the court. The uh, rubber bumper that Murray has, he could have been called for an avoidable hinder had that uh, affected the play, which it probably would have where it fell. It's not automatic. What would have been automatic if, his, if he would have lost his eyewear and or the tether coming off of his hand holding the racket. Would have been an interesting call to see what the referee would have said. So was that a point then? We were point for Mexico, no? Punto Mexico. Because the get was not made by Murray. 5-3. Cinco tres. Sigue el partido de mujeres. México, Estados Unidos. Estoy viendo acá las jugadoras calentando. Lista para entrar a la cancha en cuanto se acabe este juego. Esperamos un gran partidazo. Expecting a fantastic game. 3-5. He wanted a... Uh, a visual screen didn't get it. We shouldn't be allowing the players to open the court without permission of the referee. No matter. Point back to Mexico. Six serving four. Second serve, short serve. Got to win by two. Games to 11. Interesting to see what's called. We had Murray go down, injured, obviously. Gonna let the uh, trainer come on the court. That's the reason we want the court surfaces dry and clean. Looks like he may have done something to his knee. Why don't we go to a short break? Vamos a un breve comercial y volvemos. back live here courtside hopefully uh, Sam Murray is okay that would be the most important aspect of what just happened he went down he slipped and while we were commenting on the number of times they were having to come in to clean wipe down the court surface that's exactly why we want to make sure timeout Canada now Unfortunately, in the middle of the rally and the court is getting wet, which I think is what happened back there, there's not much that can be done during the rally. O sea, cuando durante el rally 
la, la cancha se está mojando porque se están tirando los jugadores. No hay mucho que se pueda hacer, dado que son los mismos jugadores que están mojando la cancha. Esperemos que Samuel Murray esté bien. Y acá eh, estamos en un tiempo. Volvemos en un minuto. Gracias. Estamos acá de vuelta, courtside, cancha número 6. Tenemos un injury timeout. Estamos viendo el quinto set del juego México-Canadá, van 2 a 2. Tercer set va arriba, creo que 7-4, el último punto en cual se cayó Murray y se hizo algo a la rodilla. Este, ahora tenemos un tiempo de, de ¿cómo se dice? Por lesión, 15 minutos acumulado, o sea, 15 minutos en todo el, no tiene que ser continuo, no, todo acumulado a través del... del uh, del partido, pero no hay duda que obviamente lo va a tomar todo ahora si puede, porque ya estamos en el último set. Esta lesión tiene que ser eh, generada, el tiempo que se está tomando generado por la lesión que ocurrió en la cancha, que dio contra la pared, contra otro jugador, contra el piso, con una raqueta. No puede ser algo que venía fatigado o un calambre. Eso no sirve. Injury timeout here, folks. 15-minute cumulative. Mexico on that last point we saw, unfortunately, Samuel Murray slip. And I believe it was a slip caused by a wet floor created during the rally, not because it wasn't dry when the rally started. And it looks like he's um, injured his knee. Explaining the injury timeout, it has to be take place by contact with an object or a person in the court. In this case, uh, he slipped and contact was with the floor. It can't come from cramping or from fatigue or any previous injury this individual may have, may have had. Game over, we see Kobe Iwasa saying, uh, that's it folks, we're not gonna continue. Thank you very much. 
Uh, great match, nonetheless. We're sorry to see if that happened. El partido se acabó. El Iwasa entró a la cancha a, a darle la mano a los jugadores diciendo que ya no vamos a seguir. Me parece muy bien de eso porque hay mucho más juego. Ojalá pueda volver Murray, no sea nada serio. Este, y como les dije, ahora en unos minutos van a entrar el equipo mexicano de Alejandra Herrera, Monse Mejía, contra los, el equipo estadounidense de Michelle Key. Y este, Erika Manilla, Manila en English. Quédense por acá que estamos de regreso en unos 10 minutos.